Cute. <laughs> Sorry, Derek's taking a picture. We so, don't get to see each other or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Next level, right. okay. Hey guys, uh, welcome to IG Live. And today's episode is going to be about one ton or none. And it's gonna be really good. Yeah, for so. sure. And uh, Sarah, our head of styling, she is absolutely a ton expert amongst being an expert in one and none <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. But I think you're really great at taking things to time. Yeah, I definitely think that I'm a risk taker yeah. and I think like the bolder the better. This is probably the most like none outfit <laughs> you've I ever will, been. I I've ever worn. And we're gonna yeah. get you jacked up to yeah, ton by, by the end of this. Um, and then we have Alexis. She's here with us too. And what we're gonna do is the three of us, Alexis and Sarah and myself, we are gonna show you how we take our own outfit from none, then to one, and then to ton, okay? And then what we're gonna do is, you guys sent me some really good pictures, thank you. And I've marked them up, I've colored them up, I've given you lots of good ideas from them, and we're gonna take you through that. And then the last thing that we're gonna do at the end of the segment, I'm gonna answer some of the questions that you guys have submitted. Actually, the three of us are gonna answer them together. Um, but then ask questions all along the way, because we have Matt over here. Wait, yeah. Matt. Yay, hey guys. Matt. And Matt is going to be reading out some of your questions as they um, come on, okay? And But the question's about style. So, all right, let's start with one ton or none. Yeah. Um, I'm a big nun here, yes. right? So one of the things I do want to say about dressing in a nun way that I think is a lot, it, I can see a lot of confusion in the DMs that I have totally. is, I think that there's the idea that like nun means a gray sweater and a black slot. Right, or like totally just dull, simple, dull, boring, right. sad, like all yeah. of those combined basically. Right, and so, it brings it to the point a lot of people are asking what's the difference between one ton and none and then the rule of three and i think the rule of three is super important when you're dressing in none because the rule of three really gets into textures totally proportions mm -hmm. all of that so when you get all of this together guys and some of you are already there i'm so excited by the pictures that i've received and some of you guys are like right at the beginning and you're like one ton three right huh? so <laughs> you know like we're, we're all yeah kind of, totally totally yeah. we're here for everyone every step of the way exactly so i am not here so i'm wearing just the alpaca sweater but you can see what's important in a nun just like we talk about with our basics is the sweater is not really a basic you've got really good details to it and you have this good high neckline we know we don't like that like in between boring horrible neckline so it's got the good high neckline and i've got it tucked in um we will also dole out some uh Talk for a second. I'm gonna grab a rubber band. Here. We're gonna do out some styling hacks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean basically this rubber band ones. They're a good go. one. Yeah. So if you will so totally. Sarah's gonna rubber band me this here. This is a hair tie, so it doesn't have to be a rubber band, you know. Whatever you have lying around. And oh. See, I think that's a southern northern thing. Oh, we just call oh, them this rubber, is band. rubber band. This is a hair tie. But we refer to like all drinks is Coca-Cola. Right. Coke, and then we're like, I'll have a Coke. Great. Right. And Seven that's up. exactly not what you wanted. Yeah. So there you go. So what Sarah's done is she did the little ponytail. She pulled it tight in the front. So if you are wearing something that is quite slim up here or sheer and you don't want to tuck something in, then you can do the little rubber band tie. And um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to just do a little bit of half tuck for me because this totally. skirt is in a really nice heavyweight wool. So I'm gonna do just that little half tuck in the front and then I'm gonna let this be casual in the back. So I'm wearing the eyelet skirt here and it's got the cutout detail. And then I'm wearing the thuck, thuck. <laughs> be careful. Take that and then put a German accent on it. F-A-L-K-E socks. And um, Again, not sponsored, not paid, but just a big fan. These are the Sensitive Berlin, and I'm wearing the navy ones. 
And I think one of the big saviors for mm -hmm. none that we found is having socks. Totally. Like, in a range of colors. Absolutely. And I think, you know, when you're getting dressed in the morning, you don't always have so much time. I really feel like starting with a sock first, no matter yeah. what, like the same way you put on underwear, just like you can easily switch from an open toe sandal to a boot to a loafer, like, and run out the door no matter what. You're not like fussing around. Exactly. And then, you know, you're avoiding the skin sandwich that we're not like the biggest fans of here. Well, and it really, some of you guys sent me pictures and you had all of your nun on and it was really nicely layered up. But then what was happening is you had on the coat, you had on the sweater, you had on the pants, but then you're like, well, I put on a loafer and you've got the bare foot in the loafer right. and that felt like too much skin, but then the boot was like too heavy and mm -hmm. it's, it's not freezing out yet. Totally. Um, so just doing like those loafers or those flat slides, mm -hmm. but with the socks. It's a game changer for like this time of year, which is in between seasons, no yeah. matter where you are. And like, if you're in an office, like we are, you know, we're gonna have a hot or cold and yeah. then you go outside same thing you really don't know what temperature you're going to get so it really is like the ultimate style hack exactly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show another way to do one that's a really simple thing and so this totally a so sock. here yeah. we're going to use another sock and guys the great thing is um we did these for we used them in our fall campaign and we then we thought you know what let's do princess socks mm -hmm. we'll make tibby princess socks and then i thought you know what i don't want to make tibby princess socks because really you just go online and you can buy them and what's crazy is this is from a company that makes um printed socks for um like i think they're supposed to help your blood circulation that's kind of even better like a great compression sock and, and a nice they're compression print. socks yeah exactly um i think they were like 16 dollars or something okay and so uh, I'm not going to judge whether or not that's a lot or a little, but what it is, is it can really change an outfit. So now I've got on the printed sock and I'm going to wear it with a navy blue shoe. And this one's a clean, simple one. And this one is coming um, in maybe two months. I'm oh, yeah. And it comes in this height and it also comes in like a little one inch guy or something. But you can see like if I put this on, then all of a sudden, my little nun outfit has a good one, right? Right, and it's not overwhelming. You didn't completely change the silhouette, the style of the outfit. You just added a little something to like bring it to the next level. Exactly. Cool. And so when you go one and when you go ton, it doesn't mean you lose your shit. You, generally, <laughs> you don't because we the thing not. is you're staying yourself. So we have a question. Yeah, Miranda asks if all one accents are equal. Um, well, I think that w one of the challenges for me with ones mm -hmm. is that sometimes you build an outfit around a one and maybe you, you lean into like a handbag as right. a one and then you get to work or wherever you're going and you put it down and then you're like, and then you're right now, oh wait, yeah. back at my table, I was very creative, but standing here, I'm not so much. So, you know, that's, um one of the ways to think about it is having you know a one that can stay on you for a while right right um but i think they kind of are created equally right yeah i mean i think also that like the one can be printed the one can be like a solid bold color i think there's different variations and it really just matters like what you're comfortable with so the definition of a one in this world is when you look at me right now, everyone's looking at me through the camera, right? Your eye should be going to one place. It's probably going right here to my printed sock, okay? That means I have nailed the one. So even though I've got this great texture, I've got a skirt that is all cut out, I've got some shine in the shoes, so I've got my balance figuratively, not literally, <laughs> um, but your eye is going to the printed sock. Mm -hmm. It's going to one. Okay, so now you're in none and you're in none. Right. So you guys talk and I'm gonna go put on another permutation. Totally. Of one. Okay. Okay. So I'm currently wearing none and I'm gonna show you kind of like a few different variations of how this is none. So first I'm wearing the brand Koozie Jean, and before everyone asks, so this is a size 24, it's the longer length. 
So in an ideal universe, they would be wearing the regular legged version, or if we ever made a petite version, that's what I would be wearing. A message. Comment back if you want that. <laughs> I'll be your champion. And then I'm wearing a denim top to go with it in a different wash and kind of a tan boot. Again, this is all a nun outfit. And I'm even going to add this, you know, neutral Frank plaid coat. And I know I'm saying plaid and you guys are thinking you're crazy. That's a print. But again, when I put it on, your eye is just really looking at the whole silhouette. I'm buttoning it. And now the tan boot, the jacket, they're still in that nine uniform. And then Alexis, on the other hand, is wearing kind of a signature full black suit, Stella Pan. She's gonna explain further her look. Yeah, so this is like the typical nun look, I think for everyone, just all black. I'm wearing the Liam blazer in a small, and then the Stella pant in a two. And then I also kind of have this little cropped sculpted bralette in the small underneath so you can definitely wear it open and then kind of like show a little bit of skin to balance it out that's a good tip when you're wearing all black but I like it kind of buttoned to get the suit look but yeah this is your typical nun outfit I think we've all been here before totally and um, we have a question from the audience where are the boots from uh, the boots are from Bottega Veneta. They are like my seasonless wear all. They're rubber. They're incredibly dirty. I wear them rain, <laughs> sleet, snow. I think you can also buy them at the Paddington Bear Shop. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I also said I wasn't going to wear them. And then, <laughs> they're fun, but they're functional. And then I did, but I also just to like drive the point home of the sock situation. Is it navy? I'm okay. wearing a gray saw. Okay. <laughs> really throwing Derek off here. Threw me off. <laughs> Woof! Um, again, these are the longer length. So, in an ideal world, they'd be a little bit shorter, so you'd see the sock, as Amy mentioned. And again, this is just another good variation, especially when I'm getting dressed in the morning and I'm looking right when I go out the door, and I'm like, does this look good? Do those look better? What am I in the mood for? How fast do I have to run? And for this dark denim, which you are wearing in the longer length, yeah. which you would not normally, but in that dark denim, that's available at um, Net-a-Porter Net Net for like all of our, and Bobbly in Vancouver. In Vancouver. Yay, Vancouver. <laughs> and, uh, and then at Hampton in the US, so yep. enjoy. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Back yourself out for sure. While you were out changing, yes. I petitioned. I'm lobbying for a petite leg. The regular is <laughs> oh, Well, we need to get the regular. Is that a regular? This is a regular. Okay. Can we see that? Sure. Yeah. No, not at okay. all. Okay. Let's go see what that looks like. Cool. All right. So, and then you're wearing the tropical wool, Liam, and yeah. I want to say that is available also. Mm -hmm. At Meta Porte, you're welcome because I know um, a lot of you international guys are always looking for it. And I know Schnee Weiss had it, but she sold out. So don't hound her because she's like, ah, going crazy. Um, but Marque's Face also in the Ukraine, that that is my favorite store um, with my favorite people. So please go visit them. Uh, everyone, just hop on over to the Ukraine. Um, but, anyways. So I'm gonna show you, um, if, if you don't mind, maybe you can find out where those, my things are available. Yeah. Um, but now I'm just showing you here how I've gone to a one, right? So I put back on the blue socks and I've got on my blue sandal, but I've got on the striped shirt. And so you can see your eye then is going to just one place. One. Derek is looking I have a at question. me with a wig. Is, the nail okay, is this your question or is someone else? No, it's, it's not mine. Okay. It could be. Does the nail polish color count as one? Did someone really ask yeah, that? Yeah, they did. Oh my God. I, I asked myself that in the questions earlier for today. Um, I think they do count as one. It's, well, okay, here's, here is when it counts as one. I'm going to make this rule up on the fly so you guys can tell if you agree with me. Does the question, Sarah, is does nail polish count as a one? No. Okay. Well, that was no. oh, really shut down. I was shut 
shut down. <laughs> Sorry. But, but, but let me say this. If, if for me, um, the most I wear is a bright red. Mm -hmm. But I would say that if I went total like claws and right. did like a really cool like neon yellow, mm -hmm. if I really went there with something, then yeah. yes, like for, that would For count. you, because it's kind of like actual, it's so, out of your, you know, natural exactly. go-to element. Right, because I was thinking someone had written a question like the green earring. Mm -hmm. Does that count as a one? And again, like for me, I... I wear green all the time. Right. Green is almost like a neutral for me, and a green earring mm -hmm. is, it's just my thing. Someone had asked if you wear an Apple Watch, does that count? And I was like, <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't. Um, so anyways, where does your eye go to? It's going here. If I had on big yellow fingernails, yeah. I would probably be veering into ton territory. Right. Okay, so you're wearing the- This is the regular, the regular length. length. Yes. And a 24. Yes. And so, <laughs> Derek just what was like the last really length? sighed. I know. I know. <laughs> like, um, what was the last length that that's the, the longer length? Oh, this is the regular. And just okay. I'm five feet tall, so like really anything is the longer length on me. Well, and we and the way that we did it is uh, the regular length is really engineered for five foot five and below. Right. And then the longer length is five five and above. However between a 25 and a 24. Normally between each size, you reduce it by like an inch mm -hmm. in length, but we actually increase the reduction mm -hmm. as you get smaller. Cause at one point we found that we were doing like these double zeros and they were like, <laughs> it looked like I was hanging fettuccine out to dry and it was like the pants, but anyway, so we started making mm -hmm. that short. What's the name of your shirt, Amy? So this is the scallop stripe shirt. And where is this available? Let's see. So, and I'm wearing the shorter length. But this does come in two lengths. Wow. <laughs> you, 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 now everyone you may like the shorter length. Probably. No. So you can get it at Shop Block. So. <laughs> Speak up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can get it at Shop Block or Richmond Street Partners. That, it's also but... available at Kick oh, Okay. Oh, Kick Plea. Okay. Yay, we love Kick Plea. <laughs> okay, and someone wants to see the collar up because maybe they're watching here? Pretty in Pink and James Spader is like at the top of their... Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Not to my thing, fair, but that's a thing. I'm not like opposed to an up call. If your hair is tucked in, yep. you're wearing the Frank trench coat, you're kind, it's cold, it's right. windy. So sure. can I see the Frank trench coat on you? Because what we're gonna do is, if you put the Frank trench coat on, you're still in none. Right. So territory. when you were when you were out going into this next iteration, yep. I had this on oh, with the did? longer legs okay. too. Okay. But I changed shoes, so I think this is like a good refresher, really quick. She's like, Amy, you stupid oh bitch. Oh this, <laughs> 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 this is what you meant. Okay. <laughs> Okay, do you mind, can I try it on real quick? Yeah. I'm, what I'm going to do is... No, you so we can show how it fits on someone who's <laughs> Is this the vlog? That's not what I'm doing. Okay, what I want to show you is, I'm going to take this to a, to a tie. So now I've got on the stripe, and I've got on the grandfather plaid, and then I'm going to uh, take this sweater, and I'm just going to use it as a scarf, okay? We know I could do a dicky. She's looking at me because I'm like the number one fan of the Sarah loves dickies. I love the dickies. Sarah dickie. loves a good dicky. So okay. advocate, the advocate of the okay. item. So They're the most versatile piece. That's true. I mean, I, I never worn one. Versatile. I can't speak to that. Okay, so now you. let's see if I'm going to put on a little yellow earring action here. And then... Um, we already showed the... More requests to show your shirt collar up, but we just did that. Damn, what's with you, you guys? Who's all like? It's like someone. They're like, hi, we're riding from the Greenwich Country Club, and we yeah, want to exactly. see. I'm just kidding. It's me. Uh... Are you a member? <laughs> Shut up. Okay. All right. So now I got. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So we have on yellow and green. We've got blue and white stripes here. We've got the plaid. And this is the good time. Oh yeah. Right? So, the good time. All right, so why don't we bring you out? Yeah. And yeah. Why don't you turn her up? Totally. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do it? I can't the shoe. You put, you do the shoe. Yeah. Because, you know, we're, we're 
big fans of this upcoming shoe. It's actually named after Derek. Ooh. What is the shoe? This shoe? Yeah, that shoe. Is this not? Is it actually named yeah. after me? Yes. yes. I didn't know that was no, like it, serious. What other Derek's do we have? <laughs> no, I didn't know it was actually called the Derek. Yeah, it's shoe. from Derek and Accounting. That's fabulous. <laughs> there are no other Derek's. That's really. the, the perfect you can feel shoe. Confident. Yeah. I do want to show that when you are dressing uh, none or ton or whatever, you can really too play around with the bags. So. A lot of you guys wrote to me and you said, what do I do when I'm wanting to carry a work bag? And really guys, everyone get your black bag down, but then think what are the weird neutral colors to really expand your bag? You have to do it right away. Like in your twenties, like I saved up forever for that first coach bag. I know I'm dating myself, but it was a coach bag. It's still um, around coach. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We know. Derek, that's why we named a shoe after Tell you. Tell us you work in fashion yeah. without telling us you work in fashion. Uh, but anyway, so when you build up your wardrobe, your starter bag, of course, it's it's black, then it's dark brown, and then you can get into all of these weird good neutrals, and then you become Sarah and you get into like weirder shit. But, so, in a good way. All right. Okay, you guys, go for it. Yeah, so I just put on these pink flats that are bejeweled with Derek, and it just kind of brings it to one. So you can just have all black, but still have that pop of color, and the jewel makes it really fun. Yeah. Which is exactly why it was named after bejeweled. Derek. Yeah, very bejeweled. <laughs> a pink satin yeah, and everything fun. Bag. Wait, yeah. wait, Derek, will you just come on real quick? <laughs> because I do think like normally no. people can see a connection. Yeah. yeah. Should we bring out the black version? Wait, so the black version? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is, is the same. Right? I see connection. <laughs> I don't know. This is. Do you guys read this? Yeah. In case yeah. we want to see them. And it says it on the back too. You know that, right? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that's coming soon. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we didn't write it on all of the shoes. Just, just a some special one. Yeah, just yeah. that one. Those are the collector's editions. Okay. Um, okay. So, so we're going to tunnel access up. You know, we're going to use our favorite earrings that Hannah makes. There are new colors coming. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, in this scenario, I love the idea of doing a yellow and a blue or a green and blue, kind of mixing and matching the colors. Mm -hmm. So take your pick. And Alexis has green nails on, oh, yeah. which she's gonna come show you. But this is like totally in your wheelhouse. Like yeah, I feel like you I always love... have like a great nail color. <laughs> What's um, yeah, I am like an avid nail person. So I would say nails are one for me because I'm always I don't know, doing something a little bit crazy or extra. And for that point, because I test, like I always wear one tone. Totally. So the nails yeah. kind of just take it somewhere else. Totally. I think also one of the things that we found, and I'll show it through a picture later on, mm -hmm. but we found that when you're wearing all black, that to ton something up, you really want to play with the accessories because mm -hmm. when you start to mix black with Lots of like, you know, red, purple, orange, like it, clothing. It's too much. It's too much. You really become like an 80s mm -hmm. and not in a good way. Like a, there's a lot of great things about the 80s and then, you know, you don't yeah. want to. Black can be a very contrasting color. So exactly. you have to be so careful. Totally. So okay. to make this look like less 80s, so, you know, Amy mentioned she's got black covered, got brown covered. <laughs> well, these are my neutral <laughs> We've wow. got yeah. a neon green, a pink, a Derek pink, that Pantone, pay attention, yeah. and this lovely blue. And I think, you know, this is where I'm going to kind of like go off one of the other elements to kind of like tone it down and ground it a little bit. So I think we're going to go with the green bag mm -hmm. to kind of play off the green earring because, you know, as much as I love, you know, Joseph and the amazing Technicolor dream coat up in here. We just kind of have to simplify it a little bit with the colors. Oh, cute. <laughs> I'm here for it. Oh, my nails. Oh, it's this is like perfect. And the nails are another shade of green. Yeah. So and I think one of the key things here, when we talk about one ton or none, so when we said one, we said your eye was going to one place. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about ton, what you can see is like, you've got so much interest going on that your eye actually settles. Like yeah. it's, it's not like I'm like, 
bouncing from here to here, it's kind of like you've got it all going on that mm. it becomes calm. Yeah, and I feel like if you're not a ton person, this is a good place to start. Totally. Mm -hmm. Leaning into the And you yeah. can totally pair it back. Like she can take off the yellow ear cuff, then we're down to two contrasting colors. Mm -hmm. She can skip the bag and go with a, like a minimal black bag to mm -hmm. kind of again drop back to our foundation color. So there's a lot of ways to work with the kind of non ten idea theory and build upon it in a way that like strikes the right balance for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> um, Okay. All right. Well, I guess so, I'm Sarah, gonna... it's Sarah, everybody. Just solo right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to go She's from so <laughs> none okay. to one. Okay. And then to ten. Go for it. Um, okay. So, so and then, uh, you know what I can do is I can also, uh, well, let's see. What do you, let me see your one. Go for it. You want to step like up? I said, she's literally yeah. obsessed with the Dickies, and um, oh, finally we get to see it. This, this is like my shining. When in this doubt, is. you do throw a dicky on it because you'll see too with the pictures later on. It when we said that um, dressing none and one never has to be dull. Like having these things around. Sometimes you guys send me something and you're like, okay, I put on this jean shirt and this jean and I thought it was going to like change my life and I'm not sure my life's changed yet. Right, but then you put like, this on. Did anyone say that? No, people do, yeah, because they're like, I bought <laughs> this, I thought it was going to like, you know, save my relationship or whatever. And it's like, clothes can do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, clothes can do that. True. They can. Um, but I think that sometimes it's really like, having the good earring, mm -hmm. having the good dicky, those are the things that will like kind of, I don't know, they make me happy. Totally. So this, so the great thing about the dicky, obviously, you know, you're adding an element with a turtleneck, you're layering for warmth. I really like, you know, this because, you know, from the front, we get the longer length. You can turn it kind of to the side, which again, is just like another interesting mm -hmm. style element. You can see more of the, denim on denim look and then i can actually turn it all the way around and now i have like a shorter length which might be better on someone who's shorter <laughs> shorter like me and this is just a one-stop shop there is no longer a shorter length it is all together <laughs> it's all in one it's, it's all, all in one. one so then i'm gonna put back on my other plaid. our other nun element the grandfather plaid and then did you guys talk about where the grandfather flies from since I apparently do. i missed stuff. you missed a lot <laughs> we maybe. did not but you <laughs> so much when i was gone um and this is a frank coat named mm -hmm. after frank um what i do want to point <laughs> do you think this is more frank than the derek is you yeah i think so um <laughs> I think so. what i want to point out with this coat though which is really important from um just a thoughtful like I don't want to say trend, but trend perspective is this waistline is quite dropped. So you'll mm -hmm. see it's down here. And so that's one of the things what you guys probably love when you're shopping vintage is you love it with the idea of a men's coat, right? Because mm -hmm. it's got that really dropped waist to it because that's like where it's hitting you because it's a men's coat. Mm -hmm. But um, but then ultimately there are things wrong with it and it probably, you know, it's, anyways, you, you may be wanting something a little new and fresher. Totally. And so... What this coat does is when you hike it up and belt it, it gives it like this unbelievable ease. You can keep it low or you can hike it up. Right. And it really gives it like that just unbelievable, like I just threw it on. Which is moment. exactly how right. I feel. And with the whole low rise thing happening, mm -hmm. that's how when low rise is happening, it's really tapping into the ease of what low rise should be. So you're getting that in that coat like that. Totally. Just a little Why bit. Why is it called a dicky? Someone asked. Is someone really asked that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's a fact. Yeah, that's what? That's a that, that, that was invented in like the 70s or what? At Miriam Webster, let us know. <laughs> can you can you look it up, Matt? Yeah, we're gonna do. It <laughs> okay, let's yeah, stay. Standing by, guys. Yeah, just please hold. <laughs> we're coming through with that. So, about the results. I'm not gonna <laughs> take this from one to ten. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab some of my accessories. So I love the idea of like variations of kind of the same color palette tone. 
So I have, you know, a Kelly green dicky, kind of this like turquoisey blue bag, a more of like a royal blue sunglasses. And you're probably thinking this is like Crayola box just threw up. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, but I <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Do you want to switch spots? It's a lot of <laughs> Wait, but let me, let me, here's something that's really important. When you're going with ton, <laughs> I think the the reason why it's a lot and it stays very centered is because when you talk about chill modern classic, every single one of these pieces is still chill modern and classic. That's a great you one. didn't throw on a chiffon cape, you didn't throw on like something like all feathered and right. everything. So everything in its own right is CMC. Totally. So when it all comes on together, that's what calms it down. And um, and again, guys, this is where the baby steps come in and you'll really start to put all this together. I, those pictures that I was showing of like Olivia online and um, Tiffany Reed, oh my mm -hmm. God, like that look great. just amazing. But each individual piece was still chill, modern and classic. Totally. Every piece you have on right now from the Bottega to those sunglasses. So these like, are like an old pair of blue sunglasses from Celine, but the shape is like super classic from BB Philo. And I still feel like Amy said, very chill, modern classic. I don't think that I look like I got dressed in the dark. Derek might disagree. No, people love that. <laughs> but if those were big, like bohemian. Right, big that's brown, such like a great Elton point. Top. This is a very classic, like Wayfair right. style that's been around forever. Um, just in which like is what Celine little, did, which she did, which so she did so well. well. Exactly, right. that's what she did. Like really classic, tailored, modern pieces put on its like, on its edge, right? Like, and that really, that's why this works, guys. So you know, keep sending me your pics. Ask me if you think you've gone off the rails or whatever. Um, actually, don't ask me that. <laughs> just ask me if you really feel that you have and you want to know why. Uh, but remember, how you feel in it is the most important thing. Um, all right, so this is great. Mm -hmm. So this is just another example of one. I put on the shoulder pad shirt underneath the bralette. So who has that bralette? Let's your eyes just go completely to the shirt. So that's like a good thing to think about when you're trying to do one. Like find somewhere for your eyes to go. And also, I mean, just another note that's not tied to one ton or none necessarily, but this makes something that like if someone buys this and they're like where am i going to wear it mm -hmm. like where am i going to wear it where i've got the bare stomach and the jacket and yeah you're, like, you're going to wear it when you don't need the bare stomach yeah <laughs> when you're going to do that when you want to layer something exactly wait who's got this is this a oh no that's a tube top okay anyways we'll give you guys a list of who's got uh, this great little guy so yeah really good Okay, and then you're back to your one. Okay. A lot of love for the dicky, by the way, and your last look. A lot of love for Thank it as well. Thank you. Great. Thank you to everyone but Derek for <laughs> believing in me. Uh, I um, meant to say ton, not a lot. But I'm going to show you one other thing. <laughs> well, here's one other thing too, like um, just ways to have fun with ton that are still like last a couple years ago when we did a photo shoot, we bought all of these. Uh, inexpensive, totally jeweled up. They were, again, expenses relative, but they were around $30. Mm -hmm. And so this was like a really fun way to add some bling to an outfit for going out at night, but then also like serving functionality because mm -hmm. it keeps your sleeve up. And so here, like, it's like a classic Rolexy looking watch, right? And you know, if it were something super strange and weird, then you might not be able to feel like yourself in it. It might not be giving that chill modern classic vibe. Yeah. But this is giving CMC vibes. Yeah, so. and wearing it up here just brings like a fashion element to it. It's not like you're just wearing this flashy watch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys, next part here is I am going to show you some of the pictures that you guys submitted. And what we did is we took what you gave us, I colored on top of it, and I took things from one ton or none, or we gave some mm -hmm. things like some zhuzh or whatever. So, um, I'm not gonna name any names here when I show you this, and I have cropped out the faces. Um, 
they were nice faces, but I just thought, you know, maybe to be more personal. Okay, so we're gonna start here with this one. Please don't let me drop this and be so mad if no, I No, this it. way. Are you reflection. helping? You can hold it? Okay. Well, okay. Okay, so, <laughs> sure. is, so just stay. Wait, do you have something else you have no. to be? Like, sorry, I have to be at a party. Um, okay, so this is one, and you submitted this to me, and that was amazing with the red shoe. Oh, yeah. That's a really good red shoe, by the way. But I love this, and this person scored the structured cape, knit cape that we did, so yay for you okay so but you've got on the all black and then the red shoe so that's a really good one and then i'm going to go over here to none and so on none i gave you just a nice little brown slide here okay so right that's nice and maybe like you can go to work do whatever in that okay you're looking great but then to ton you what i was saying is black when you get to a ton can be a little tricky so here i gave you some derrick shoes Lovely. <laughs> i gave you a bright green bag a la sarah i've given you some nice big earrings that hannah has made and we toned you up so you have it okay so i took you from one ton and none and i'm just going to show you a picture this is why when we talk about you know black can be tricky if you're looking at layering up all the colors like when you layered up all those colors right. on you with the brown grandfather. Mm -hmm. There was a good irony there. Totally. You're wearing that grandfather plaid, but then all this bright color. Right. Where I think if you had done that to like Alexis. Alexis, this is where I'm going to show you like, okay, what you don't want is you don't want this to become like a true 80s moment. And that's what happens sometimes if you get really aggressive with all yeah. the color layering with, uh, sure. with black. Okay, now, this next one was one of you sent me something. You asked if it was none, but it was kind of, you were kind of bummed. And none does not mean bummed. That, yeah, none does not mean sad. No. Like, That's no. a totally like off the charts sort of interpretation. But. Okay, so here you sent me this picture and you were like, hey, is this none? And I was thinking it is, but you know, a little sad, right? But, but, I mean, listen, it's good. It's all Tibby. I'm loving it, uh, but it's not. But what you can do if you're not really feeling like you've expressed your style in it, something as simple as the sock is a game changer. And I know I talk so much about the socks that you guys are probably so convinced that I am getting a monthly check from Falcon, but I'm not. Um, I just love them. I think they're very functional. And so with this, you can see that just adding the sock here gave it some like style moment. And I know that um, a lot of you write to me and you, you're you nervous, you're catching shit from your friends. It's like people can be really weird about socks. People are like, socks are Fashionable and, and functional. Fashionable like. and functional, the two Fs. So, fuck that, you know? I mean, this is why we're all here together, because we're good people, and, we, and we, care, we care about you. We, we care about you, and we like socks, so, okay. <laughs> um, but what I'm doing is, I've taken your nun, I've given you some socks, so now you're going out, and you're wearing a navy blue. So you've got on the navy blue, you've got on the dusty blue, you've got on the green, uh, olive green uh, sweatpants, the good sock, the brown furry shoes. Super chic. I mean, that's like super, super chic nun. And then I gave you a one moment. We threw a dickie on you. So now you're out and it's just, this is good, gooder, goodest, beyond good. I couldn't wow. think. Mary Webster, come back to us on that one. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, one more picture here that you guys sent me. Thank you. I love these pictures. I love playing with them. So this last one was, uh, this was the original that you sent me. This was your nun. That was fabulous, right? Really good nun. You've got, and what's great here is uh, when we talk about nun, this really hits the rule of three. You've played with proportions. You've got texture going on. Uh, this is a really nice complete none um, but then I just showed if you wanted to go one throw on a green shoe I gave you the green slide but you know any color shoe a red shoe whatever 
you can see you it's easy to see how you can add a one and this is a case where if you're really interested in uh, doing a one make sure it's something that stays on your body because purses do go off your body unless you're walking around shopping all day and then i showed a ton now you are wearing the white denim here and so sometimes what's tricky with adding color on with denim is white denim like with bright colors can it goes a little like too, basic either basic or like it gets a little nautical real fast and i know some of you guys are like what is wrong with looking like captain steubing but you know anyways i'm going to save you from that um so what i've done is i've given you kind of a minty color sweater here it's in the same vein as those shoes and i think when you play off those colors being in the same vein totally. something works there and then i gave you some really bright pops on the bag and i tied a scarf around the bag for you okay and so I think, the, I think the key with white and like a light stone wash denim is the gray undertone and like totally. the sand undertone. I think that's why, you know, tans and browns work really well with the white as do like the mint greens of the world, the peaches, like that kind, like not, a, like not too pastel. It yep. really is just this like fine balance because you don't want to look like an Easter egg. No, no eggs. No eggs. Um, and then, yes. you know, like Amy was showing, you know, you have another variation of green, that Kelly green and the Bay Ren. So again, it's really about playing like with the right colors and, you know, at maybe adding a little print, maybe adding a different textile that yeah. really. Yeah, because even if we bring Alexis back on, I think that when you talk about like the rule of three, this mm -hmm. is where like you really, you're giving the good one, but you really hit on the rule of the three because you've got the tropical wool. When you wear tropical wool with a t-shirt, it really like takes it down a mm -hmm. couple notches. Like I never like to wear tropical wool with silk because it tends to play at the same level and it feels very worky, right? Yeah, like office appropriate type vibes. Yeah, yeah. No, not good vibes. And then the knit and then the shoulder pad. So you've got all that balance of three going on there and that really, really makes it work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Any more questions? Um, there was a good one actually. Um, is one is one ton or none occasion based or mood based or both? That's a good one. We can all three come in here and have a little discussion around this. Mm -hmm. I um I have to say if I'm feeling like I I need to like up my mood, I definitely go with one. Right? Like that's. Um, yeah, I feel like it's occasion for me. Yeah, I think oh. life is all about context. So depending on where I'm going, it's just... well, for sure, for ton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for exactly. ton, for sure. One, I guess you can pull off in any situation. Yeah. So it's probably just how you feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I wouldn't really ton it up in the office. Yeah, <laughs> even though we're in a fashion office. But if it's like when it's fashion week, why not? Um, why not, mm -hmm. right? And I would for an event, I would totally ton it up. So I think, so to answer the question, I think that it's personal. It depends on who you are. Um, for me, I would not on a regular day ton it up. Mm -hmm. But I think if that is your personality, then go for it. And and you're saying something about yourself and that's that, you know, you, you're out there and super confident or, I mean, whatever, you know, you you that's it's your like style, uh, you're running with it. <laughs> and, and that's where you can be though, a creative pragmatist. And that's a lot of questions I get is, if I do love being a ton, can I still be a creative pragmatist? And you can, if your version of ton is really tied to CMC. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, it doesn't mean you have bad style, it means you have a different style, and that is totally cool. I have some more questions. Yeah. With ton, how much is too much? I think it's, it's when you get into those other elements, right? Totally. But I'll let you get that. I'm such a, see, I am such a mood dresser, so not only was I wearing that bag and sunglasses today, I wore to the office a coat that was more this color than the friend club coat. <laughs> in my different variations of green. Um, so I am definitely more of a mood dresser. I think you kind of have to know like what fits you. I think proportion really plays into it. Back to that rule of three. Um, you know, if you're wearing like a super oversized 
Balenciaga type coat with super oversized pants, like with a furry hat, like that's just too much time. That's. I, I also think too that there's too much time and then ton really goes wrong again when you don't pay attention to the rule of three. Mm -hmm. Like if you're wearing seven shades of denim, right? like if you had on a pink denim jacket and I don't know, <laughs> denim boots yeah. or I don't know, like it, really that variation of texture is really important totally. in ton dressing, mm -hmm. but CMC always. Yeah. I have a very specific question. Yes. Good. We're going to help this person out. Okay. Um, would you ever do plain black suspenders with the tropical wool black pants? 100%. Okay. Yes. And in fact, in fact, we have done them before that way. And then that was back in the day when we always had to listen to buyers. And they're like, this is, it, it like became a price thing because mm -hmm. what happens is you were, you had to charge for the suspenders as part of the pants. And then people were like, we well, you know what, if I wear the pant, I don't wear the suspenders. Basically I'm paying for something that I don't mm -hmm. use. So I love sure. suspenders. Just go buy them on your own. I think it's back to that whole like printed sock scenario that we were talking about yeah. earlier for Amy's first look. You can easily buy these and spend a lot or a little depending on yes. what, you yeah. want, what you want. Exactly. And we don't, and that's the one thing I've learned at Tibby and, and really trying to streamline is we don't have to service every single thing for everyone. You know, I mean, if someone's going to do it better, like go for it. And these orthopedic socky people or whatever, <laughs> we even let them do it. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're they their own masters of craft. Uh, right. Absolutely. I have a question. I don't know. Derek's like, I have a personal question. <laughs> so it, the question is, is Amy's skirt appropriate for a funeral in L.A.? It's um, very specific. Okay. Thing. Well, sadly, I have to go to a funeral this weekend. So I think that um, I think that funerals, first of all, let me say there's different categories of funerals. This was for my aunt, and she... My aunt lived a, a very long, fruitful life, and I love her, and she's funny. And so this funeral, we get to go and celebrate her long life and tell great stories, okay? So this is something that I would consider wearing. I would wear tights, because I don't want the skin here, but I would wear a tight. Um, so I think it depends on the funeral. I mean, because there are other funerals where someone had no business Right. Mm -hmm. Dying, and then one of my good friends, Will, he was in fashion, and when he died, he said that everyone had to dress like it was Paris Fashion Week. Oh. So, yeah. you know, it all depends on the circumstances, yeah. but I'm mm -hmm. not, in all of them, I'm probably not going with the knee exposure, and I wouldn't do the belly here. Yeah. Okay. Just saying. <laughs> so... I don't know. Derek, are we good on questions? Derek's like, I'm, I'm this going. question's rude, and I'm Wait, I, I did, there was a good one. This Here's question, one. is no. Derek available? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me more about those flats, the Derek flats. Okay, would uh, would you wear, okay, would you wear socks with closed toe heels or only open? Oh, I love it with closed toe yeah. heels. I, you know, I have a pair of, like, the Celine suede pumps mm -hmm. that, she did a perfect pair and it had the right amount of V in the front. Yep. And when you wore them with a sock and the and the closed toe pump, you're basically creating a booty. Right. Right? And it's and it's even a more interesting booty. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean socks, they turn pumps into boots, they turn sandals into winter shoes, like Fucking, we need to we need to start a sock <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Literally, what we learned. Like tune back in next week for Timmy socks. Uh, but yeah. They're yeah. Perfect. Hell yeah. There you go. That is, I don't know. That's it? I nah. think so. Yeah. All right, guys. Yay. Wait, one more question. Oh, like, are, are you available? Oh. <laughs> Did that actually okay. get asked? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. Drop your handle in the comments. Yeah. Derek's only like fans and, page. Like and subscribe <laughs> for more. All right, guys. Yay, Derek. See, we can see Derek Yay one to more me. time. No. Oh, <laughs> Yay to me. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Let me know if you have any more questions. Bye. Not bye. Not